and I give this man all the respect he deserves. Coming as the number one ranked a WBC heavyweight challenger in the world today. Dillian White is exceptional, a true classy individual and sportsman of the highest level. Dillian will fight anyone. Introducing five exciting and interesting matches that have had the most important influence on Dylan White. Before entering this interesting video, be sure you subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell icon to get all the latest videos from us. First off, it's White versus Brian Minto from September 12th, 2015. Dylan White had his first championship match in London with hopes of winning the vacant WBC Silver International Heavyweight belt. White entered the bout with confidence despite his opponents being Brian Minto, a boxer with real combat experience who has fought with many heavy opponents before. The match had an advantage right from the first half in favor of Minto. However, White surprised the audience when he proactively launched lightning attacks from round one. Can't afford to take too many of those. Taking advantage of his health and fast footwork, White continuously launched punches straight to the face and made Minto retreat to the defense and suffer several painful punches at the end of the first round. The match came to a climax quickly when White discovered Minto's weakness. With a series of jabs and ending with a punch to Minto's head, White caused Minto to fall to the rope. And after that, Minto was able to get up again, but could no longer compete. The referee decided to stop the match in the third round with a knockout victory for Dylan White. With this victory, Dylan got his first championship belt, marking 16 wins in his career. The victory over Brian Minto also helped him gain more confidence to be able to compete with Anthony Joshua, a heavyweight boxer in the boxing world. Next up, it's White versus Ian Lewison. This was October 7, 2016. The match was expected to be a bloody one because the two boxers clashed right from the pre-match press conference. With a goal of competing for the British title, both opponents provided viewers with extremely valuable moments. Shake hands, here we go. Right from the first round, Lewison has had the initiative as he rushes towards the opponent looking for that opportunity for a quick knockout to end the match early. But White unleashes his true power in the second round, stunning his opponent with a series of quick punches and setting up some distributed attacks. Lewison becomes confused about White's attacks and he was nerfed in subsequent rounds. The right eye of Lewison was hurt badly in the seventh round and he received a quick and sharp punch from the body snatcher. Bigger on the scene too was involved in a charity night. Lewison also received some hard punches, making it even more difficult to counterattack. Rolling to the 10th round, Lewison's nose also suffered a blow as White lunged at his opponent late in the round. This is made for Lewison, who staggered and lost his balance. Coach Don Charles decided to withdraw him from the battle. The win? goes to Dylan White. With this victory, White picked up the British Championship belt and opened the door to conquering more noble titles. This match is also a stepping stone for him to have the right to compete with famous fighters in the heavyweight boxing world. Ten. 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 
Next up, it's White versus Derek Chisora, December 10th, 2016. White's 2016 is considered a quite active and successful year for him. He participated in a total of four matches. He closed 2016 facing Derek Chisora in a WBC International Heavyweight title match. This match becomes more interesting and worth watching more than ever because both are known for their previous battle of words. Put it on you. I'll put it, I'll put it on you. With a large body, the fight between the two fists was like a battle between two bloodthirsty beasts. Tension was high right from the first round of the fight when both punchers rushed into each other and unleashed decisive blows. In the first few rounds, Chisora was a bit better when continuously launching punches that made White have to go back on defense. His opportunity finally came in the fifth round with a quick and sharp straight punch. However, it wasn't heavy enough to knock White down. The body snatcher staggered but soon regained form and he turned the bout around. In the following rounds, Chisora had a few opportunities to defeat White, but he didn't capitalize, which caused his physical strength to be wasted and started showing signs of weakness in the final rounds. Shot. Yeah, putting everything into this Chisora. White coming back with his own against some toe-to-toe -to -toe action. With a series of consecutive hits that ended with a straight cross, White knocked Chisora down and won the 12 rounds by referee decision. After the fight, White won the WBC International Heavyweight title. This victory shattered doubts and negative thoughts about his ability. Dylan White ended 2016 with four victories and put his name among the top 10 boxers with the most outstanding achievements in heavyweight boxing in 2016. Next up, it's White versus Joseph Parker, July 28, 2018. Dylan White had an important game going in his career in July 18 with a tough assignment. He needed to keep the WBC Silver Heavyweight title and he won the vacant WBO International Heavyweight Championship with rival Joseph Parker, a famous fighter with 25 wins in a total of 26 fights. The match started intensely by Parker's straight hits and white swing punches, but punchers are using fast attack tactics in the hope of knocking out the opponent as soon as possible. Dillian White's a hard guy and he's been through so much in his life already. Just when former WBO champ Parker fell to the floor after White's fierce punch in the second round, Parker received another quick and powerful left hook. The punch stunned Parker, but he was able to get up. Body shot, he whipped in there. With rough tactics, White caused Parker pain in the following rounds, but Parker also injured White with a right-handed hook in the fourth round. The hook did not knock White out or down, but it made him more eager to strike. Somebody who likes to have a fight, this is good work. Parker was knocked down for the second time in the ninth round by a brutal left hook from White. It took a while to recover, but Parker still didn't give up. Despite trying to create winning opportunity with knockouts, it became difficult for White when Parker had great defensive tactics. See you guys. He's hurt it. He's He's gone. He's He's gone. Gone. He's After 12 rounds and luckily a higher score, Dylan White secured the victory by decision. Hell smiles for Dylan White. This victory gave Dylan White the WBO International Heavyweight title holding the WBC Silver Heavyweight title and the WBO International Heavyweight title, he became the most formidable boxer at the time. And with this victory, White earned opportunity to compete for the World Championship title with the big names and received the attention of professional boxing analysts. It's knocked out and it is legitimate and there's so much time in the round. Next up, White versus Alexander Povetkin II, March 27, 2021.
White faced off against Alexander Povetkin in an intense bout in March 2021 to regain the WBC interim heavyweight belt he lost in the previous bout. This is considered his battle for survival, because if White loses and loses the belt, his world championship aspirations are going up in smoke. And that's why he prepared extremely well for this match. From the start of the first half, White wasted no time letting Povetkin know he would do his best to knock him out as fast as he could. In the first minutes, White made a right hook that sent Povetkin to the ropes. After that, he repeatedly put Povetkin in a difficult position using fast and strong attack. White continued to put the heavy hit on Povetkin in the second and third rounds with little encounter with Povetkin's resistance. Povetkin was like a mouse trying to get out of a cat's grasp. The body snatcher made Povetkin miserable in the fourth round. With quick and powerful right-handed blows, White nearly sent Povetkin over the ropes. White knocked out the former champion Povetkin with a left hook that sent Povetkin through the ropes and onto the floor. It took a long time for Povetkin to be able to get up and not be able to continue the match. The referee gives the victory to Dylan White. With this victory, White has placed his name in the top four heavyweight fighters of 2018. He's regained the WBC interim heavyweight title and has opportunity to be able to join the unification of the heavyweight championship with famous fighters like Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Let's get it! I'm number one, baby! Let's go! Above are the battles worth mentioning in Dylan White's career. In your opinion, which one was the best bout? Please leave a comment below and let us know. And don't forget, like and subscribe to Boxing One because we'll be back with the best information about the world of boxing.